Hi everyone. In this video I will show you somehow the first lesson uh, on programming PLCs using instruction list programming language. Well, the instruction list, as its name suggests, it's a list of instructions. It's indeed one of the standard uh, PLC programming languages which, which is uh, indeed assembler-like and it supports accumulator-based programming. We will see how does it work. However, we will uh, indeed have a list of instructions as you can see here. In the first, we will have uh, multiple lines of lists and in each line we will have an instruction on the left hand side and uh, some variable on the left hand side. So sometimes we may not have uh, an instruction on the left or we may not have uh, a variable on the right hand side and we will see examples later. Each in instruction is, it is uh, based on loading of values into an accumulator. So we will assume that there is an accumulator and the, uh, the value of this accumulator will be determined by executing the corresponding line and the next line will be based on the, the result from the previous line. In this example we will, see, we will use some of the indeed instructions, not all of them, as the first step and then maybe in the next videos we will see more on using instruction list, maybe referring to function blocks as well. So to explain uh, indeed the idea, I will refer to to one example. So here we have a, a simulation of controlling the level of the liquid or water inside a tank in which we have two switches, three pilot lamps and two uh, level sensors here for low level and for high level and there is a pump motor as well. Uh, you can refer to the video on simulating this process using the ladder logic diagram programming on my YouTube channel. I can give you the address later as well. But here I will do it using the instruction list. So we can also refer to the uh, ladder logic program as you can see here. Uh, we have different contacts in the normal or negated form and we have some coils as well, normal coil or latch and unlatch coils, which in Cartesis we refer to them to reset and reset coils. Uh, and now we can start to indeed to write the program. I have used the visualization and all the variables that we had in the previous video here to make it simpler because the process is the same so I will use all the same variables and here you can see in the variable declaration area that we have all the variables I just need to develop the code here I will not care about the variables I just need to use the correct variables in place as you start programming uh, in, in with instruction list if you have selected instruction list as a programming language in it the programming area will be like this. So you will have one line in which you have these sections or segments. We should refer to the first rung of the code or first network of the code that we have for ladder logic program. As you can see here, we start by checking the value of the manual or auto variable. We have it as man auto here. To check its value, we will use the load or LD command. However, since here we have a negated contact, we will have load with an end at the end. This means that the value of this man auto variable will be negated and checked, or will be checked and negated. Yeah, it's the same. And then we will have the value in a temporary variable. Now we need to have another line and to create another line there are two ways in the two main ways one is to right click here and select uh, insert instruction list line below and I will show you this the second way later so now we want to uh, we, we have the result from this negated contact and we want to combine it with the with the value that we have from the low sensor switch 
and we see that they are in series with each other so we can use this AND instruction and then write the name of the variable low sensor switch we need another line and this way I will press and hold control key and press then enter or return and you see that there is a new line added uh, to our code so we need to uh, now that we have the result of these two together these two contacts in series with each other and the result sh sh uh, is in parallel with the result coming from this these two contacts so this parallel configuration is the indeed equivalent to the OR instruction OR operation we will use a parenthesis after OR because there will be some AND inside indeed inside OR so we will have this situation manual or auto and then control enter and I can use tab to, to go to the next segment for latch on latch or for this address p3 0 slash 0 I uh, I have this variable internal relay in it I will use that one here internal relay and then we are done with the uh, or so now we have this combination here the next step is to end what we have with this off on so we create a new line of code and off on that's the variable that I already have created in the variable creation declaration array I'd see and then again control enter so we have the signal here now we we want to determine the state of the coil and to do that we can since it's an output we can just uh, use the set or st command or instruction and then use motor variable here so what we have here is indeed equivalent to this piece of code in the ladder logic diagram to continue we need to insert a new network similar to what we have here and to do that we can just right click here and in select insert network below and we will have a new network with new line so now it's it's easier we have manual or manual or auto in series with high sensor switch determining the state of the internal relay with a latch or set command so let's do it now we will load man auto and high sensor switch and we want to set the value of internal relay so instead of st we will use s which is in the equivalent to set and we will use this for internal relay and we are done with the second network or second rung for the ladder logic diagram we need to create another one uh, so we will in it implement this piece of the code and again we need to load manual or auto load man auto control enter and and now since this is negated we can use and not or and n low sensor switch and the result is in parallel with manual or auto negated so we will have or n man auto and the result is used to unlatch the internal relay control enter to unlatch the internal relay we can use the command R or reset internal relay and that's all for this run we can insert another network below to simulate this line of the ladder logic diagramming code motor is used to 
uh, to turn on the green pilot lamp. So we just need to load motor and with control enter we create a new line and we set uh, green pilot. We have two more networks so let's just insert another new network. We need to load with N low sensor switch and just set red pilot another network and we are done we just need to load high sensor switch and set yellow pilot let me just check to see if I'm using yeah, yellow pilot, red pilot, green pilot. That's fine. So now we are done with the program. Indeed, this is the equivalent instruction list program for this uh, ladder logic diagram program. And now we can try to, indeed, to uh, log in, debug the code and see if it works fine or not. So since it's exactly equivalent of the letter diagram code that we already had, everything should be fine because we, we, we are using the same variables, we are using this similar visualization. And the only difference is that we are using another uh, programming language. Uh, let's wait for it. The code is being generated. We are almost there. And yeah, that's st we need to still wait. So in general, this is the way in which you develop the code using the instruction list. Yeah, you can see that we have list of instructions and each line will be executed after the previous one. So if I run, we can see that there is no pro problem and we have the visualization Okay, we need to wait, I guess Uh, okay, for some reason, which I think it's because of my PC, we cannot see the switches and pilot lamps here. They should be visible in it. Anyways, we can see at least from here that when I change the state of the on off, we, we see that the, the, the value changes here. And then from manual auto as well, it changes, so it means that they are here and the pilot lamps are here as well so but but for some reason we don't see it so I, I guess if I just uh, quit Cardesis and run it again we will see everything back in place so one more thing to mention is that uh, the instruction list and ladder logic diagram are equivalent to each other for this example, indeed, they are exactly the same, they are doing the same thing, and we can switch indeed from instruction list to letter diagram, and it's quite easy. If you click here in the FPD, LD, and IL, you have this option of view, and with this view, I can switch to the letter logic case, and you can see that it's exactly the same as what we had before. However, we started by instruction list, and when then we have the equivalent uh, ladder diagram. So when you are done with the implementation, you can switch to ladder diagram or you, you can also switch to function block diagram to see if you have implemented everything correctly or not. Uh, okay, so that's all for this video. I hope this would help you in starting to program using the instruction list programming language for PSEs. Uh, hopefully we will have more videos on this using uh, maybe some functions like timers and counters in the instruction list to see you how, how to deal with them. 
Uh, okay, so thank you for watching and see you next.